Question 226. A company is looking for an Azure solution that will enable them to create private connections between Microsoft data centers and their colocation facility. This connection should provide low latency traffic and support 100 gigabytes of bandwidth. Which of the following is best suited for the requirement? Option A. Express route. Option B. A virtual private network. Option C. Azure application gateway. Option D. Azure local gateway. And the correct answer is option A. Express route. Explanation. Express route is an Azure service that lets you create private connections between Microsoft data centers and infrastructure that's on your premises or in a colocation facility. Express route provides private connections to Azure, increased reliability and speed lower latency, supports bandwidth up to 100 Gbps, connects directly to your WAN, connect your on-premises networks using the Microsoft Global Network, support for IPv6 workloads, physical link encryption with MacSec. Option B is incorrect. Comparatively, the express route is the low latency connection. Option C is incorrect. Azure Application Gateway is a web traffic load balancer that enables you to manage traffic to your web applications. Traditional load balancer operate at the transport layer OSI layer 4, TCP and UDP and route traffic based on the source IP address and port to a destination IP address and port. Option D is incorrect. Azure Local Gateway is a local network gateway that represents the hardware or software VPN device in your local network in-house. This is generally created in Azure to set up a site-to-site -site VPN connection between an Azure virtual network and your local network. Next question. You have recommended staying with the basic support plan to meet the below requirements. Provide an option to contact Microsoft support engineers by phone or email. Is your recommendation in line with the requirement? Option A, yes. Option B, no. And the correct answer is option B, no. Explanation. The basic support plan has no access to support engineers. Next question. You want to restrict access to terminating the virtual machine to a specific group of users. What concept of the virtual machine would you use to accomplish this? Option A. Policies. Option B. Access control IAM. Option C. Reliability. Option D. Security. And the correct answer is option B. Access control IAM. Explanation. If you go to the access control section, you can define a role assignment for a user that could conduct specific operations on the virtual machine. Next question. A company wants to migrate some scripts to Azure. They want to take advantage of the serverless capabilities in Azure. They choose to use the Azure Content Delivery Network. Would this service meet the requirement? Option A. Yes. Option B. No. And the correct answer is Option B. No. Explanation. CDN is used for delivering web content to end users. Below is what the Microsoft documentation states about this service. Azure Content Delivery Network CDN is a global CDN solution for delivering high bandwidth content. With Azure CDN, you can cache static objects loaded from Azure Blob Storage, a web application or any publicly accessible web server by using the closest point of presence POP server. The right option for this requirement is Azure function. Next question, which of the following options would help to secure communications between millions of IoT devices. Option A, IoT Edge. Option B, IoT Solution Accelerators. Option C, IoT Hub. Option D, Azure Synapses. And the correct answer is Option C, IoT Hub. Explanation. Azure IoT Hub provides a cloud-hosted solution back-end to connect virtually any device. Extend your solution from the cloud to the edge with per-device authentication, built-in device management, and scaled provisioning. Next question. You want to protect Azure resources against DDoS attacks and also get real-time attack metrics. What is the best solution to meet this need? Option A. Azure Firewall. Option B. Network Security Group NSG. Option C. DDoS Protection Standard. Option D. 
Azure directory? And the correct answer is option C, DDoS protection standard. Explanation Azure DDoS protection standard combined with application design best practices provides enhanced DDoS mitigation features to defend against DDoS attacks. It is automatically tuned to help protect your specific Azure resources in a virtual network. Protection is simple to enable on any new or existing virtual network and it requires no application or resource changes. It has several advantages over the basic service including logging, alerting and telemetry. Next question. You are looking for a tool that provides guidance and recommendations to improve an Azure environment. Which of the following would be best suited for this requirement? Option A. Azure Advisor. Option B. Azure Cognitive Services. Option C. Azure Application Insights. Option D. Azure Resource Manager. And the correct answer is Option A. Azure Advisor. Explanation. Azure Advisor is a personalized cloud consultant that helps you follow best practices to optimize your Azure deployments. It analyzes your resource configurations and uses telemetry and then recommends solutions that can help you improve the cost effectiveness, performance, reliability, formerly called high availability, and security of your Azure resources. Next question. A company plans to deploy Azure resources to a resource group. The resources, however, will be located in different locations. Is it possible to have resources in the same resource group but in different reasons. Option A, yes. Option B, no. And the correct answer is option B, no. Explanation. You cannot have resources that belong to the same resource group but be in multiple reasons. Next question. A company is planning to deploy Azure resources to a resource group. Also, planning to assign permissions to the resource groups. Would resources within the resource groups inherit the same permissions? Option A, yes. Option B, no. And the correct answer is option A, yes. Explanation. Yes, resources in the resource group inherit the same permissions as the resource group. Permissions in the top level scope are automatically inherited to the level below, meaning subscription level users have the same permissions to the resource groups and the resource group level users have the same permission to the individual resources within the resource group. Next question. A company has deployed an application to Azure. Users connect to Azure AD via the internet. There is a requirement that when a user attempts to log in from an IP address that hasn't been seen before, they must change their password. Which of the following options should the company consider? Option A. Azure AD Connect Health Option B Azure AD Privileged Identity Management Option C Azure Active Directory Option D Microsoft Defender for Identity And the correct answer is Option D Microsoft Defender for Identity Explanation Microsoft Defender for Identity is a cloud-based security solution that leverages your on-premises Active Directory signals to identity, detect, and investigate advanced threats, compromised identities, and malicious insider actions directed at your organization. Option A is incorrect. Azure AD Connect Health is used to check the health status of Azure AD Connect. Option B is incorrect. Azure AD Privileged Identity Management is used for privileged level access in Azure. Option C is incorrect. Azure Active Directory is used to create users in Azure. Next question. You want to ensure that resources within the Azure resource group don't get accidentally deleted. Which Azure solution will help you to achieve that? Option A. Azure Logs Option B. Azure Policies Option C. Access Control Option D. Diagnostics Settings And the correct answer is Option A. Azure Logs Explanation As an administrator, you can lock a subscription, resource group or resource to prevent other users in your organization from accidentally deleting or modifying critical resources. The lock overrides any permissions the user might have. Option B is incorrect. Azure policies are used for governance purposes. Option C is incorrect. Access control is used to set the permission for resources. Option D is incorrect. 
Azure Diagnostics is used to enable diagnostics on the underlying resources. Next question. You have a set of virtual machines configured in Azure. One of them has been down for an extended period. Therefore, it violated the standard SLA set by Microsoft. How will Microsoft reimburse the downtime cost? Option A. By directly sending money to the customer's bank account. Option B. By spinning up another virtual machine free of cost for the client. Option C. By providing a service free of cost to use for a specific duration of time. Option D. By providing service credits to the customer. And the correct answer is Option D. By providing service credits to the customer. Explanation. Microsoft offers service level credits if it does not meet the SLA targets, since this is clearly given in the documentation. All other options are incorrect. Next question. You are planning to have an Azure storage layer that can be used to store data that is infrequently used, but the data need to access quickly in the event of a failure. Which of the following storage tier for Azure Blob Storage would be suitable for this type of requirement? Option A. Premium Storage Option B. Hot Storage Option C. Cool Storage Option D. Archive Storage And the correct answer is Option C. Cool Storage Explanation The Azure Cool Blob Storage tier is a good choice for data backups that are older but that you might still need to access quickly in the event of a failure. Next question an existing Azure application needs to be integrated with an enterprise messaging solution. Please select the correct option for the above given requirement. Option A. Logic App Option B. API Management Option C. Data Factory Option D. Service Bus And the correct answer is Option D. Service Bus Explanation Azure Service Bus is a fully managed enterprise message broker with message queues and Publish subscribe topics in a namespace. Service bus is used to decouple applications and services from each other. Option A is incorrect. Logic app is used as a workflow service. Option B is incorrect. API management is used for managing API. Option C is incorrect. Data factory is used as an ETL service on the cloud. Next question. A company has launched a set of virtual machines in their Pay as you go Azure subscription. After launching a set of VMS, they seem to have reached a limit. Further provisioning is not possible as well. What can be done to allow the company to provision more virtual machines? Option A. Increase the limit in Azure Advisor. Option B. Increase the limit in the Azure Monitor. Option C. Increase the limit using the Azure CLI. Option D. Raise a support ticket with Microsoft. And the correct answer is option D. Raise a support ticket with Microsoft. Explanation. As per Azure documentation, if you want to raise the limit or quota above the default limit, open an online customer support request at no charge. Thank you for watching this video. Buy our AZ900 premium questions with 50% off. Check link in the description.